So I hear uh, Sega has invented a brand new video game character, <laughs> yeah. uh, a blue hedgehog with yeah. spiky hair. Yeah. And he's back? <laughs> oh, he is. Already? Yeah. yeah. Uh, already is the key word here, because I reviewed the game, uh, a Sonic game, just before Christmas. Yeah, uh, I remember. Sonic Unleashed. And that was, you know, kind of a good game, or you could at least, at least see, you know, traces of good game. Yeah, I saw you playing it, because it had really good speedy yeah. levels, jumping and flying around. And, and, and you have these, you know, werehog levels, which yeah. really, really suck. But this, this time, it, Sonic has a sword. Yeah. And he's uh -oh. in the Middle Ages or something. Yeah, it, it's really, really, really bad. Because oh. as the game starts out, you, you follow this uh, sorceress, uh, Merlina. Uh, okay. Not Merlin, but Merlina. Merlina. Yeah. Okay. In this, uh, you know, uh, middle-aged setting, yeah. and she's hunted by some uh, the Black Knight. And as she runs away, she she mumbles uh, this uh, magic spell, and and Sonic drops from the sky. Oh. And this is just the beginning of a disaster for me. So how does it play compared to the other Sonic? Uh, games? It's uh, you start out uh, running around in this. Uh, Is it free running or do you follow a path? Yeah, you, you go from level to level and yeah. the game basically plays itself because Sonic runs all by himself yeah. and he, he takes all the turns that he needs to take and all you, you have to do... follow a set yeah. path. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and all you have to do is just jump. But what about the sword? Time. Yeah, he gets his sword uh, a couple of levels in, uh, which talks by the way. And you just run and, and jump and you you know, waving around with the Wiimotes and oh, I'm just so bored after playing it two minutes. And that's because the gameplay is just so uh, unresponsive. I, uh, I can, you know, wave around with my Wiimote and Sonic just doesn't do what I wanted to do. It's, it's very unresponsive is what it's, you're saying yeah, basically. It is. Uh, and that sounds frustrating, but I mean, Sonic has always been about speed and excitement and attitude. Yeah. Uh, how does this translate to this mid medieval setting? I don't know. I, I just feel the, the mix is very strange. Uh, it doesn't fit at all in this medieval setting with Merlina and Dark Knight and uh, the talking sword. And you know, it's King Arthur and you have to free you know, his land. And some of its knights, uh, which, which you meet as you know, boss characters uh, all through the game. Is, is characters from from the Sonic universe. So okay. you meet Shadow and uh, Shadow and Knuckles and Amy yeah. and all these characters. It just doesn't fit in at all. It's, uh, I'm getting the picture of the sort of game where after you've finished the final boss, the end scene is Sonic waking up in bed. <laughs> oh, it was all a dream. Oh, <laughs> it, he probably will. Uh, but but there's a multiplayer part. To oh as yes. Well, and I played that for five yeah. minutes, and I can. Safely say it's, it's it's probably one of the worst five minutes of my life. Yeah. Uh, but you played it some more. Uh, how does it hold up? It, it's basically what what you saw from playing it five minutes. That's what it is. It's uh, you have this one room uh, and uh, you know two to four characters running around, and the players just have to you know wave the Wii at yeah, the TV that, that and, was and my impression and. You know, nothing happens. So it's just the mandatory multiplayer add-on that that sort of every yeah. game has to have just to put it on the box that you can play it with your friends. Yeah, yeah. But but uh, it's not fair, you know, to really just rant on about this game because it's probably a good game uh, for kids, small kids. Yeah, uh, but that's the point because I looked at the box and it's it's got a 12 plus rating. Yeah, and and, and kids 12 plus. Uh, well, no, they won't touch this with a, with a ten-yard pole <laughs> <laughs> because they they want to shoot people <laughs> or uh, uh, have an action game. Yeah. So why is it 12 rating? Do you think? I mean, I it, it no didn't look idea. very violent. <laughs> no, it is. I really have no idea uh, how this game could get. I guess talking swords is, is, is sort of. If you have a talking sword in your game, mm. then you get automatically get a yeah, 12 plus. Exactly. So you wouldn't really recommend this game to anyone, is the impression I'm getting. Or if you have a kid and you don't care about the 12 plus rating, yeah, I, I, then he can have some fun with it. Or, yeah, yeah. yeah I, I would say like seven years old or something. Yeah. A, a kid seven years old would probably think this game is fun, but, but that, that's not because the game is good. It's just because kids that's it's just seven because years old. It hasn't played Super Mario Galaxy. Yeah. He says that.